evening and welcome to Kiwatea Street. It's the ASB Premiership Round 6 match between Auckland City and Wanderers. It says Round 6, but it's just the fourth game of the campaign for the Navy Blues. Alongside me today is uh, Mike Kilpatrick, formerly with uh, Stuff and Yahoo Sports. Mike, welcome. Welcome. Thanks, Gordon. So, Wanderers SC struggling at the foot of the table, beaten by the Phoenix 3-0, and four changes tonight for Auckland City. Uh, yeah, interested to see how uh, Jacob Spoonley goes in goals, uh, and of course uh, Andrew Milne as well, a bit of a utility player for Auckland. I'm hoping he's a good game. Daewoo Kim and uh, David Brown, Andrew Milne, Jacob Spoonley, the four who have come into the side with a string of games coming up next week in the OFC President's Cup. So we're underway. The rain has been pouring here, sunshine at the moment, but it's been variable all afternoon. The kickoff brought forward to 5:45 p.m. to try and uh, beat the sunset. Here's Brown with Messenger in tow. Oh, and he goes through the back. Brown, that looked a painful one. Yeah, um, it was a bit late, well after the referee blew the whistle there, uh, Gordon. Uh, Brown looks like he's hurt. Well, referee Chris Kirk comes over to check on the health of the player. Brown, who's already had uh, a long-term injury in the off-season. He's come through that OK. I certainly hope he can continue. After his uh, goal, late goal against Waitakere as well, it would be uh, a shame to see uh, Brown uh, off the field. This is Mario Bielan. Decides to go for the long ball, but uh, just to the bottom right of your picture, David Brown is down again. We're just five minutes into this match, and Ramon Trebuliac may have to make a substitution already. This is devastating for Brown. There's, there's no way he's going to carry on from here. You can see he's in quite a bit of pain. Well, there he goes. He's uh, heading to the sideline, and he's limping. So not good news for Auckland. Burfoot. Possession now with Wanderers. Andrew Milne intercepts. Here's Fabrizio Tavano. Ryan De Vries just couldn't get the ball out of his feet. It's broken kindly for Auckland. David Kim with a touch. Tavano. Vissalich joins in. Checks inside. Might fancy a shot from here. Over the bar. Speedy's clearance. Auckland have it with Belanga. Now Kim. Milne, who's been put in a forward position due to the injury. The substitute Iwata joins in. Keeps going. Tavano spots him. Iwata against Messenger. Cuts inside. Tavano! Great finish by Tavano. Uh, brilliant work down um, the left hand side. Um, nice interplay. Um, a great cross and a fine finish with a left foot by Tavano. Um, Auckland deserving the, the lead at the moment. Well, Tavano with a superb finish. And you can see here, Zach Speedy just couldn't get a glove on it. Auckland lead by a goal to nil after 11 minutes. Langer's throw. Auckland probing for an opening. It's De Vries and Milne. 2 nil. 17 minutes gone. A uh, great goal by uh, Andrew Milne, but uh, he'll be uh, the first to congratulate uh, Ryan De Vries on a fantastic cross. Um, you know, there's no way that he was going to miss from uh, from six yards out. Uh, his eyes would have lit up with that one. Here you can see the finish from Andrew Milne at close range, and Auckland sitting pretty at two 0 up. Here's Finn Cochran, former Navy Blues youth player. Oh, he's gone all the way here to the near post. Judd Baker! Just over the top from Judd Baker. The first time we've seen the Wanderers on the attack and um, they looked a little bit useful there, but um, out for a corner in the end. Here's Iwata. Got an option to his right. Tavano plays it through and down goes Iwata. That looked a penalty on first glance. Yeah, that you know, looked a stone waller to me. Um, definitely taken out there. I think uh, Auckland can be disappointed there that they didn't get the uh, chance to increase their lead. Baker. Good spell for Wanderers. Here's Messenger. And that's a very good ball from Brock Messenger. The long range shot from De Jong. Off target. 
De Vries. Nice turn by him. Spent the offseason in Australian State League football. Iwata against Messenger. Picks inside. Messenger can't clear his lines. Tabano. Corner. And Iwata's making um, a lot of space down the left hand side. He's given Messenger a really tough game. Here is Iwata. Oh, and there's another big challenge on Takuya Iwata. Yeah, you wonder how much of that's been um, yeah, frustration at uh, how much space Iwata is getting down that left hand side. Uh, he's really made it difficult for Messenger, and that was a sore one. And uh, a yellow card for Brock Messenger, and treatment coming up for Takuya Iwata. John Irving decides to go long with the clearance. It's not a bad one at all. He finds Mill. Can't find Kim though. Here's Wanderers on the attack. Oh, and that looks to be a good shot for a penalty too. Oh, he looked inside the box at first glance. Uh, the referee's given the free kick just outside the box. I'd like to see a replay of that. It looked like a close call to me. Well, yellow card for Angel Belanger and a free kick for Wanderers. De Jong. Well, it's against the wall. Gets a second go at it perhaps. Still going, Jiong. Away by Vissalic. Yeah, poor effort there. Um, straight into the wall. Uh, just before half time, you're looking to, to get yourself back into the game. That's not what you want to see. So we're just about uh, to restart the second half. Auckland 2 0 up, and the rain is pouring down in sheets at the moment. Here's Cochrane. De Vries. Nice turn by Dewu Kim. Still going, Kim. Might fancy a shot. He does, and it's off target. Nice play by Kim there in the build up, but unfortunately the finish couldn't match the, the skill in the middle of the park. Ooh, there's a hefty challenge. Free kick for Auckland. Oh, it's Messenger again. He's a bit lucky with that one. He's already been booked. He must be on his final, final warning now from the referee. That was a that was a nasty one in the back. Cushioned header from Vissalic. Continues his run. Option still is left. Iwata. Trying to cut inside the fullback. Can't get the ball out of his feet. Gets to the byline. There's a cross. Deflected. De Vries trying to twist and turn. And now David Kim. Lovely touch. Good save by Zach Speedy. Tavano there just uh, took the ball just away from Milne's um, left foot. I think that was looking good for a, um, a hat-trick there for Milne. Unfortunately, just uh, lost the opportunity thanks to Tavano's interception. Perfect. On the break here. Options to his right. De Vries. Can't find him, but the ball might break kindly for De Vries. Well, a rainbow cast over Kiwatia Street. Perhaps a pot of gold at the end of it in Morocco. Kim. Belanga. Still going, Belanga. 3-1 challenge. Cut back for Tavano. Oh, and it uh, was a nice idea, but the defending was good from Wanderers. Oh, and a chance perhaps about to present itself. Good goalkeeping from Zach Speedy. And Iwata's follow through goes wide. Burfoot. Belanga finding a lot of space down this right hand side. Rides one challenge. Opponent down injured. He's by Cochran. It's blocked. Chance for Milne. 3 0. And a second for Andrew Milne. Scrappy goal there for Auckland City, but um, yeah, must play at the whistle. The opponent was down injured, but uh, Berlanga kept on going and eventually found Milne just uh, six yards out and he, he had the easiest of chances to, to get his second for the game. Um, and Auckland on, on easy street now at 3 0. Well, the result uh, we have perhaps known for some time. Auckland City comfortably ahead by three goals to nil. Speedy trying to clear his lines under pressure. It's been a difficult start to the season for Wanderers SC. 
have been played by Takari, uh, the Wellington Phoenix and Auckland City and they're in trouble here. Daewoo Kim. Well, he had Tavano to his right, but he chose to shoot. Again, down the left, uh, Wanderers looking uh, vulnerable. Um, Phoenix making plenty of space um, and not quite uh, um, hitting the target there with, the, with that shot. And there it is, the final whistle and three valuable points for Auckland City. Mike Ramon Trebulic will be happy with that. Yeah, it was a difficult game. Um, Wanderers uh, showed against Waitakere they can be dangerous. Uh, Auckland have, have probably had the best of starts to the season. But uh, yeah, they must be happy with that 3-0 midweek game and head into the President's Cup uh, full of hope, I would think. Let's get some post-match reaction. Ramon, thoughts on the game? 3-0 victory. Look, I think uh, it was going to be a very hard game, you know. Uh, the Wanderers... I'm more mature than last year, very physical. It was a very physical game, and after having played Waitakere in the weekend, you know, which was another very intense game, it's a derby, you know, and we, we had some tired bodies in there. And also mentally, you know, coming, having to come back up and play on a Wednesday night uh, is a very difficult task for us, but I think, you know, we did really well. We played a good game, very competitive, you know, basically. And we matched the intensity, and look, the most important thing are the three points, you know, we got them and we're happy with it. So you've got a big points buffer between yourselves and the rest of the field going into the OFC President's Cup. Uh, another game in five days. Yeah, here we go now. The next week is going to be crazy. You know, we got a, a Friday game after having a very intense, probably game against Singapore, and then on on Sunday we've got a final game. So it's going to be another test of uh, strength of our squad, a physical test as well, and also a mental test. You know, come, having to once again come back up and play another very intense game. I, I, I'm pretty sure that the three games we'll play are going to be very difficult. You know, so it's that's a harder uh, task we've got ahead of us, but. It, it's probably good, you know, because it's gonna it's gonna help us to to get better and uh, as a team and 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 get that extra itch, you know, competitive itch that we need for you know for the Moroccan uh, World Cup, obviously. You know. Opportunity as well to uh, have a look at players throughout the squad. Uh, you made several changes tonight. Yeah, yeah. I mean, uh, we are, we are pretty sure that everyone in the squad is uh, able to play for this team, you know. And and as I said, we had a lot of tired bodies and 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 even minds, you know. So it was good to give three or four players a, a game because we, we needed a bit of that. We needed a, a bit of freshness and and also again another opportunity to give some game time to some players that actually deserve, you know, to get the game time. So very happy for that. Very happy for Milne, you know, who got two goals and he's not played that much, you know. So. And again, it's good to see these guys. They don't get they don't get as much game time as others, you know. Using these opportunities to prove uh, themselves. You know? What's the condition of David Brown? Well, we don't know. We're waiting to see. You know, I mean, he, he got a good knock, so he, I think he's going to get some X-rays taken, and then but we'll see. Milne, two goals. Talk yeah. us through them. Yeah, can't complain. Um, started the game at left back, and then obviously an injury and. Uh, had to move further up because pretty adaptable, but uh, can't complain. Got the win, which is the main thing, and uh, two goals actually helps. Yeah. Pretty good. De Vries for the cross for the first one. Uh, your eyes must have lit up when you saw that ball going in. Oh, perfect. It seemed like it went in slow motion. I'm lucky I got it in, otherwise everyone would be on my back. But um, great ball, great that he saw me early, and uh, just good to help the team out. Yeah. Obviously there was a few changes uh, made in the second half and you ended up at right back. Did it go through your mind that uh, this hat trick might be on or were you thinking of the team? Uh, a bit of both. Um, obviously last 10-15 minutes going right back I knew that I wouldn't have much opportunities but hoping for a penalty or something so I can get the hat trick but wasn't to be but glad for the three points. Darren, uh, a difficult result but the learning curve continues for your team? Yeah, you know, we've had a, a really tough start to the season with um, Wittakere United away, the Phoenix away and Auckland City away. So uh, it's, it's a pretty unkind start to the season. And, um, you know, today the results are a little, it is disappointing to lose 3-0. And um, I didn't feel like it was, uh, you know, Auckland City haven't created lots of chances against us, but they've deserved to win and, and they were pretty comfortable because I felt like we weren't great in possession today and we didn't create um, many chances to score ourselves. So... Um, yeah, disappointing performance. I, I do feel like we could do a bit better. Um, it has been a tough start, and you know I think we need. You know, hopefully, we'll learn from that and move on. Yep. Typically, when teams, are, young teams, youth teams, are yep. playing in a national league, this is a big challenge. Let's not yeah. uh, kid ourselves. Yeah, and, and we've said that. You know, 
We knew it was going to be hard, you know, it was hard last year and it's going to be hard again this year. But, you know, I feel like we are in a, in a better space right now with the, the squad that we've got. Um, we've lost a few players, you know, for this game because, you know, we've had some players promoted to the All Whites, which is great. Um, and that's our whole, you know, can we get players to, to play at a high level? Um, so we've just got to keep working, you know, keep fighting, um, and, and but keep working on what we're what we do in training because we do things in training, and then I was a little bit disappointed that we haven't gone out and done that today. But it is, you know, it is a hard game, and we've just talked to the boys there about, you know, what what do they feel it is, and you know they're coming up with the same words, or we're a little bit naive, and or we just haven't got that final cutting edge when we get into good positions, and you know when there's that goal mile scramble. We need to be the ones that clear the ball, not, you know, at the moment, at the sharp ends, at both at both ends, um, we're, we're just coming off second best, you know, whether that's stopping those goals or actually trying to score goals. We're, um, and that happened on Sunday and it's happened today again. You've sort of answered the, the next question I had, but uh, how does this performance sit within the overall context of uh, the FIFA Under-20 World Cup? It's still seven, eight months away. Yeah, uh, I mean, this isn't the under-20s, you know, this is the Wanderers. Um, we, there are a lot of players that are eligible for the under 20s yeah. um, scattered around the world like like you'd know um, and, and professionals that are in Europe and um, and in Wellington but it's an opportunity for the guys that are here to try and push themselves forward and and show that they you know they can make that squad you know it's a long season that we've got ahead of ourselves um, you know and at some stage we'll be making lots of decisions on on these players. Uh, and, and all we've said to them, it's an opportunity. Yeah. Go and show us. Go and fight for that place in that World Cup squad. Um, because, yes, there are players around the world that are playing at a high level that you know will come into the squad. So um, the, the whole program sort of twofold. We've got the under-20s and the under-20 World Cup. And we've got the Wanderers where you know we, we're working with this group of players. Um, and some of them will be at the World Cup. Um, Within the group, what was the, the reaction of the players to see some of their teammates get called up for the All-Whites? It must be a big spur. Yeah, awesome. I mean, um, Anthony Hudson's been worked quite closely with us. He's been at uh, a lot of our trainings and, and watched our games. And, uh, you know, we are trying to work very closely to the way he wants the All-Whites to play, um, you know, which takes a little bit of time. And, and you know, in the last few games, we've we, you know we've shown signs that we can do that, and, and I thought today our, a lot of our pressing and stuff was quite good, and we we won the ball back in good areas. But when we won it back, we weren't actually good enough to do anything with it right now. So we're um, yeah we're we're working, and I think that's why hopefully some of the players have got promoted or, or called up to the whites because he can see them doing stuff that he wants to do with the all whites, um, and, and it's easy to sort of pick them up and put them into that to that sort of session. Um, and there's some, yeah, there's some really good, talented young players. But you know, Auckland City are a good team with good players, senior players that know how to how to win and know how to play, perhaps against younger players.